What's up and welcome back. So we got a nice video today for you here. We're gonna be shooting this big Toyota Tacoma job. It's a lot of new parts and a blend on a fender and a blend on a door. But I also picked up this cool new item I wanted to show you after I was doing that big F-150 job. I realized I needed to upgrade my uh, platforms and I found a real nice one. So stay tuned to this one. We'll shoot this truck. I have another one over in the other booth, a BMW. And I have this cool new stand I wanted to show you guys that'll get you up off the ground and you can adjust it and everything. So let's get into this video. So here it is and it's a cool platform, it's adjustable. So you can add to these stands and make it as long as you want or you can separate them and make it uh, one. So really cool setup. You can make it one stand, you can make it two, you can make it three, as many as you buy, you can get it to uh, join together. And the best part about it is it lifts up and it gets to any height. Just wanted to show you guys, I picked these up at Lowe's and uh, they have them there so you guys could get them if you want them. So just thought I'd show you this because it might come in handy for you guys. All right, so first things first, I got my chip guard already on the panels and I have it lined up with the other door there, the original for the blend. So I marked it on the stand prior to putting it up here and we went ahead and put that on there. So this is really good stuff. I'll show you what it is. I like the 3M uh, gun for that. And this is it here. This is the gun you use for it with the packet. I've showed you guys this before. And then you get this here. And it comes with the heads with the gun. So I have a video on this stuff before. Go ahead and check that out if you guys are new to this product. But top of the line product and uh, really works well and holds up. So we're gonna get into sealing this. I already went ahead and adhesion promoted the bumper and it's all tacked and ready to seal. So let's seal it and then I'll show you the other job on the other side. support that way once it's uh, ready we can go ahead and just spot in the ends it makes it easier than trying to tape that all up once it's in the car so any kind of radiator uh, tie bar or uh, radiator section or anything I can paint out of the car I paint it out of the car first and then once it goes in I'll spot it in because it makes it a lot easier to get to those areas that you can't get to so just wanted to show you that, and that's something that may help you guys out later and uh, when you're doing one of these cut-in jobs. Do it first, weld it in, because we use resistance welders, so it'll be minimal on where I actually have to spot it in. So. so this is the job over here in the other booth. So BMW, new fender blend door, new bumper, and two moldings, all new parts with a blend. So this is a comp like a plastic kind of SMC fender of some sort but they make them real nice, they're real light, so you gotta be careful with them. So we're gonna go ahead and paint this one also. And uh, I'm not sure I'll show you this one all the way through, but this is what I'm doing over on the other side. So it's good, I got two whites because I can use the same sealer and then go back and forth and uh, finish them up like I told you I always do. So just wanted to show you what I'm doing in my world today, guys.
base on. We'll let that set up. But one thing I wanted to show you on your new parts is make sure you uh, remember to seam seal them. A lot of guys will forget that and then in, uh, you'll run into trouble later. And I got a little trick for that too. I'll show you one day when I get into that. But make sure you get your new parts all seam sealed up. That way it looks factory. The hood, we got seam sealer on it. Seam sealer on the door. Make sure you get your chip guard on there. Because those are all dead giveaways. And uh, you definitely want to get that stuff to look as OE as you can. So you guys know I like to do all my stuff as OE as possible. That way the job looks better in the end. So under the hoods, make sure they're flat. If they're shiny, make them shiny. If you got chip guard, put chip guard on it and make sure you get seam sealer on everything that has it. So we'll let this dry and we'll come back and do a back to back of uh, white on this. And this is code 040 Toyota with the lighter variant. The lighter is one of the ones I use all the time and it uh, works a lot. You guys see me do a lot of white ones. So let's let this set up and we'll come back in here and uh, put another coat of white on it. chip guard look so far it really duplicates the oe look perfect so when we get done with it when we're done clearing it i'll show it to you all said and done and i'll show you it compared to the uh blend panel that i didn't actually use it on so the blend panel is the original blend this is a new door and i'll show you how good it looks uh butted right up near it so this is going to dry the base is on i went ahead and put one more coat than you guys seen just to make sure that it's covered because sometimes these whites don't cover that well so it's all drying now we'll let it set up and then we'll clear it and we're using the 3m gun if i didn't already tell you guys couldn't figure it out but one forehead 15 psi and i drop it down on this one i won't drop coat it because it's white so we'll be getting into the clear here in a minute and I'm over in the other booth basing that white one out over there. So stay tuned. I hope you guys like this video. If there's any videos you guys are interested in seeing me do, go ahead and put that in the comments. And uh, anything you guys have any questions on, go ahead and leave that too. So today we're going to be trying out the old uh, Technic Clear Coat gun, a really, really good gun. And it has a 1.3 in it. And it's a lot quicker than the uh, DV1. It doesn't put down as flat a coat, but it's definitely a really nice gun. And this is a big job, so I want to get through this one quick before it starts to set up for my second coat. So this gun here, you'll see, is a really beautiful gun and I've always liked it. And uh, we'll be clearing with this one today. So something different. I always use the DB1. And uh, we're going to try this one out so I can show you guys how great this one works also. So that's one coat and I'm spraying that gun at 30 PSI and it's the TE25 uh, air cap on it with the 1.3. So I mixed up 29 ounces of uh, clear and I'm going to have to go mix up more. So it looks like it's going to take about 60 ounces to clear this job. So definitely a quicker gun. And I like the way it sprays when you're doing some of these bigger jobs that you don't have as much time between coats because this is a fast clear. 
and it likes to snap quick so you don't want to wait too long in between your coats of clear because it'll start to set up on you so you put this clear on just the way you want it to look because it's uh, like I said quick so let's go ahead and mix up some more and we'll put the second coat on and I'll show it to you all finished up so definitely a very good gun if uh, you guys find them for a good deal definitely grab one So it's definitely a nice gun and it definitely sprays well. This job came out clean and uh, that's not because of the gun, you guys know that. So the biggest difference I see between this gun and the actual DV1 is the fan pattern is definitely smaller. I spray my fan wide open and my material wide open. So that's mainly how I spray all my guns and uh, it's definitely got a smaller pattern. So it seems like it hoses it on more and uh, puts down a quicker coat, but definitely lays down a nice finish. And it came out really nice. So let me know what you guys think of this gun. If you have one, Ship Guard Looks Factory. I love the way that 3M uh, gun works with the pouch. And it looks factory just like this one here, so. That's the blend door, so. Definitely duplicates the OE look and uh, job came out nice. So I hope you guys like this video and uh, you know what I always say, see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.